What's going on guys, welcome back to Thai News and in this video we're going to be talking about a new game that has been changed the name and a couple other things. So first of all, I would like to say thank you guys so much for 1.2k subs because so far this has been the most amazing journey it's been so far just watching this number go up and up and up but it wouldn't go up without you guys so thank you to you guys a big thank you to all of you shout out to all of you the next thing we have is about industria so industria has actually had to have their name changed back to untitled game no! That means we're gonna have to think of a new name for the game. Industria was taken by another company slash game slash something. I don't really know, but let's have a little look on what Discord says. So we have a message from Hufa. It says, due to unforeseen circumstances, the game name Industria will have to change back. We were contacted and it was requested that our game name was to be changed as they were first to the name. We feel that it is right that we change our name back to untitled game as a result of this we are temporarily changing all of our naming to untitled or untitled game however we will be hosting a little name idea competition all we ask is that you post in the name ideas in the ug name idea section to obtain these channels please get the reaction role in hashtag reaction role the community will vote for a few of these names of which we will use for the game you will also be able to add to the contribution section if you are chosen. So that's good. If you guys want to be able to go and suggest your own game name for the what was to be Industria, now to be something else. And as you can see, it says ba it's backed up here as well. It is now the highest priority, not the high priority. It's the top highest priority. So this is probably going to be chosen very, very soon. Which is why it is in this news video. So, what do we have new to the game, you're asking? Well, if you saw the last video, I kind of, like, put together the UI and the game and just made, like, my own game from the pictures that I was given. So, I was like, there you go, that's what it looked like. If you guys didn't notice that, that is what was in the thumbnail. So... With that being out of the way, we have some more information about the UI, because everybody loves UI. This one is actually what I'm interested in, because I love dark mode. I hate light mode. It is too bright for me, especially when I'm playing at like 1, 2 in the morning. Dark mode is the best. So, as you can see here, we have dark mode, light mode, and if you click dark mode, it changes to dark. And if you click the box on the left of it, it changes to a blue box. The blue box is literally your hotbar box, I believe. I'm not too sure. I don't remember there being that anywhere else. However, we do see a similar style box on the hotbar, just with the name in the top, the number in the top corner in its own separate box. So maybe we'll be seeing that type of thing happening on the UI hotbar and stuff like that. But as for the light and dark feature, you have a D and an L. Maybe that could have been switched using like a left to right switcher, but the game's going to be done their way. Let's have it done their way because they've done everything so far so great. We've also got another screenshot right here and let's go into the, let's go deep into the image. In the top left hand corner, we have the money section. So you will be able to claim not 20 million, not 50 million, not 100 million, but probably up to 999 million dollars inside of the game. Or is that billion? That might be billion. You never know. I think it's billion because I see one, two, three, four lines of numbers. That's billion, I believe. Going down, you've also got the plus section there, which is your add money section. Going down, you've got the backpacks. You can have backpack. User permissions. I don't know what user permissions are. However, if they're going to be on your own, if that's going to be on your own slot and that sort of UI just pops out of the side of the screen or something, That'd be pretty sick, but let's say backpacks and user permissions aren't there when you first join the game and you have to go buy a backpack and then it just slides out from the side of your screen or something. That could be pretty cool. Same with user, user permissions. It only appears when you're on your base. That's pretty cool, right? It keeps the game fresh and some it, it, it gives a more 
unique look, I guess. We've also got settings as well and administration. I guess the administration is for the admins because why else would there be administration? We've also got chat with NPC buttons there, even though there's not an NPC here, unless there is one hidden in front of him, which I don't think there is. But there's a chat with NPC thing thing there and you've also got the drag thing there so as well that means that drag will probably change to a lot of other buttons so such as if you're looking at a tree and you're holding an axe it would say i don't know if you're on pc it would say uh click to chop or something or if you're on xbox it would be lt to chop or rt to chop depending on your settings maybe you'll be able to change your settings in the game who knows? But then we have the UI, which is what I put inside of my... Oh, wait. This is the full image. I've just realized. Having a look at the UI, I was like, huh, this looks really familiar. I swear I've seen this before. But it is the full image of what we saw before. So the UI image that we saw before, this is the full thing. Down in the bottom corner, we have typical developers testing version 0x. I still don't know what that x means. If a developer is watching this, please tell me what that x means. I do not know. However, that I believe is everything. We've also got something on sprinting. Sprinting is working or it's being worked on right now. It has been moved to the to-do list. So it is to be done. It is coming. It is, I believe, medium priority. I'm not too sure. We have this one last message from Hufa and that is I've been thinking about some ideas. I have thought of ways to practically eradicate any data size limit for long-term players. That is great for people like me, people like YouTubers that just want to play the game for years and years on end. Any player that wants to play the game for years and years on end and they get really good at it. So there is a data size limit that your game can have, I guess. So they're working on a way that I don't know how how is that even possible? I don't I don't know. Wouldn't you have to add the data cap in the first place? I'm not too sure. I remember I'm not a game developer, so that is just very confusing to me. However, they are working on a way to increase the data size to be practically infinite. To a, and maybe a number that you won't be able to reach for a very very long time. Hoofer is really excited to start designing ways for this to work. However, I've However, he may need some testers, so if you're into testing, go have a look at his Discord because you will be able to you will be able to go apply for tester stuff there. I pres I presume you'd have to be in there a little while, get to know the people. Same same in my Discord. Get to know the community a little. Don't be a stranger. Just thought I'd share it with everyone at here as I thought this would all be interesting and that has made it into the news video so yes it has let's get into screenshots that i have shown you guys before just in case you're watching for the first time right now i believe this is the poplar tree the tree that goes up curves over slightly and then you got the leaves that you got the leaves that stick out as the sides and they bend upwards as well this tree is just the most realistic tree in roblox whatsoever that does not have 2d ui this is amazing it is top notch 100 percent tanfastic right next image we have this other tree this is like a smaller version well i wouldn't say smaller it's probably really really big but we have a different type of tree longer in length leaves are on the top more like an actual tree more like an oak tree the actual name is on it on screen right now and we have the palm trees as well. These palm trees are looking great. So you have the leaves spiking across, going almost left, right, everywhere. And you've also got the, I like how the fact that the palm trees can go upwards. They can bend to the left, bend to the right. And I'm looking forward to potentially seeing a bending, curving palm tree that like does a loop-de-loop -loop or whatever. Who knows? Maybe that could be a thing as a really, really rare tree, right? But that is it for everything in this video. If you did like this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. If you want to see more videos like this from me on the channel, then make sure to turn your notification bells on. That way, you get to stay up to date whenever I upload a video like this on the channel. And I shall see you guys in the next Thai news video. Bye.